for free press, fair elections, and equal rights for women. <laughs> I can't say that. He brought us Buyaka Shah and Ali G. He brought us uh, full front nudity and Bruno. He only brought us. Hey, Borat. Uh, wrong movie, man. Give me that. Jake Shimesh. Jen Clear. And your mark. Get set. Supreme Leader, the United Nations demands that you come to New York and address them. Sign! We are going to America. I gotta tell you what it's your boy Hope. Admiral General, welcome to New York City. And while you're here, I highly recommend a visit to the Empire State Building before you or one of your cousins takes it down. Uh, Entertainment.ie. Oh, I'm very guys. bold, I forgot my branding on the mic. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get into an awful lot of trouble, but we don't say anything. Don't say a word. So, so Nula's ladies, uh, Anne wrecking the joint. Yes, I know. She knocked over a huge, uh, big cardboard cut. I think of the movies. So. I thought it'd be sexy to lean against it, but it's only cardboard. <laughs> Ali G was one of my favourites back in the day, so I'm really excited to see this. Uh, would you be a fan of the mankini? Oh, big fan. I make my boyfriend take that out in summer holidays. Oh my. No, I don't. I don't. I think Barat is actually here tonight. There's a guy, yes, with a trench coat on just behind you. He may have the mankini underneath everything, yes. To, to, well, that's of, of your right, of your left shoulder. Disturbing. That's disturbing. <laughs> Yeah, you swear we paid him to come along. Yeah, I uh, think he's been in. Hey, Keith, a night off on the magic? Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, it's been a while since I've been to the cinema, so no magic tonight. Just in, have a laugh, and uh, hopefully it'll be a good show. I've only just been talking to you for about 20 seconds. I think you've just emptied my wallet, and my belt is missing by the looks of things. Well, it's actually your bank account I've emptied, not your wallet. Uh, it, was the, it was the whole 500 euro that's in there I wanted. You won't know? get much in there, not even that. 500 quid, you know. <laughs> hey, Robert, how are you doing, man? I'm altogether well, apart from the rash. I, I, the rash? Never mind, yeah, we're moving on swiftly. If you clear up at some point, you'd be grand as creams out there. Um, is Sasha Baron Cohen fan? Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. He's always got his finger on the button, the button of life, doesn't he? He certainly does. He's, uh, we, very, he's very much like Trevor McDonald, only in the satirical sense. I'd like to see him do the news of 10 uh, at some point, you never yeah. know. Maybe in a mankini, would you be a mankini fan? I'd love to see Sir Trevor in a mankini. I don't know if Sir Trev's out there and he's listening. Sir Trev, we all love you and we think you're sexy. Uh, are you a big fan of Sasha Baron Cohen, stuff like Borat? Bruno. Funny. He really is. He's hilarious. I'm really looking forward to it now. Hopefully he'll give us a few laughs. Are you expecting any full frontal nudity in this one? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to expect because I haven't seen the trailer, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Rise and shine. Nobody's going to recognise you no, 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 no. without this. Oh! Is there any way you could lend me some money? Maybe $20 million? Yeah, well, yeah. I'm here to deliver my speech to the United Nations. Look, it's too hot for crazy. Oh. Come on! Come on, me! Could you please take your hands off my breasts? Those are breasts? I thought you were a boy. His movies, you know, they are kind of reality-based, even though they're, they're, they're scripted. And it's very similar to the stuff that I do. You know, my TV show, Deception with Keith Barry. It was scripted, but at the end of the day, you're taking real people off the street and doing crazy things with them. And uh, unexpected things happen all the time. It's the same with his movies. So uh, I'll, I'll look forward to the unexpected that happens in the movie tonight. How does it feel to be back in the saddle? Is it kind of weird? No, we've got a lot more to talk about. I think it's funnier because we're older and we can talk about divorces and epidurals. It's great. Yeah. And Anne, of course, you've been through the mill yourself. Yeah, but You're looking I'm back. fantastic. Look. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> you just saw LA. <laughs> I know. They're all doing that in Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> Ladies, I better, I better let you go because you. Woo! Who would you say is the dictator on the Fair City set? <laughs> Who's the one that lays down the rules? Um, I think Bob. I think Bob is the dictator. Bob or Yvonne, the two of them are kind of forces to be reckoned with. <laughs> I've just been talking to another Yvonne, oh, who's, who's, she's already in there, and she said you're the biggest dictator on the set. Can you believe that? I'm not. I'm just forthcoming, you know? I just speak my mind. Fort, just forthcoming? Angel. Yeah. Just, she tries to play an angel. I'll kill her now. If you had she in Ireland, okay, you'd one rule. You're the dictator. We're here to see the dictator tonight. Everybody has to follow this particular rule. Uh, what would it be? Uh, I think it would have to be commando. Commando all the way. No more underpants. 
everyone must wear deodorant. But Louis Spence. I think he'd be a great deodorant. Louis Spence? Yes. It'd be forced us all to pirouette on Wednesdays. I think, I think that would be fantastic. <laughs> so it would be my favourite thing ever. One rule is, there are no rules. Naked Tuesdays. <laughs> Naked Tuesdays. Have you seen Sue's bod? <laughs> That's why. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> naked Tuesdays. Naked Tuesdays. Okay, I could take Naked Fridays. I'm up for Naked Fridays, that's cool. I think we should get you on stage and do something with you. What do you think? In a mankini, perhaps? No, no. Ball rat style? No, I wouldn't like to see you in a mankini. Maybe tied into a, a set of stocks and being whipped by a Vagris Ponticus, the monk on stage. I look forward to it. Yeah, well, let's do it. That sounds invite like an invite. Shake, shake on it. Shake Open on the night, 6th of July, he's on stage with a Vagris Ponticus. Can you take out the garbage? Stop that. Shut up, loser. Oh. Hey, Hairnet. Kinda need you to hurry up. Chop, chop. Next. This is the plan. We're just two ordinary American tourists. I love being an American. Illa wahwani aba lofawish mishal Empire State Building. Ah, Rabbit. Walla Sepana says that a sofa shine up a Statue of Liberty. Aywa. 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 You can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash entertainment.ie and on Twitter at entertainment.ie. 